Hey, what's up guys? So if you're here, it's because you want to figure out how to get rid of background noise in your microphone. And you've probably searched through all the other YouTube videos, which told you just to turn up the gain in voice meter or do some other thing that really just had to do with your audio throughput threshold from your mic. And that stuff doesn't really work as you know. That's why you're here. We are not going to be going through and telling you how to configure voice meter. In fact, this change has nothing to do with voice meter. I guess a little bit, but for the most part, it's not, it's not a voice meter change. Instead, what we'll be doing is using three other programs, which are ASIO for all, Reaper plugs VST. And then we'll also be using an application called mini host modular. Now, when we put all these things together, you get crisp, clear voice. Without those things, you sound like this. I'm sure you can hear the background noise. You can hear that white noise. Um, yeah, and it sucks. All right, so without further ado, we'll just jump right into it. It's only going to take a couple minutes to get set up, and then you'll be well on your way to having that crisp, clear audio that you want. All right, so jumping right over here, like I said, you're going to want ASIO for all, which there will be a link to all this stuff in the description below. Uh, you're going to want Reaper or REA plugs. So you're going to download Replugs VSTFX Suite. You can see the download button right here. In my case, I did not opt for the 64-bit version. I tried it. I had some issues with 64-bit working on mine, so I actually went ahead and went back to the 32-bit version. And then you're going to want mini host modular. So the only thing with this one is that you are going to have to create an account. And I will actually put a link to the registration page because when I tried to find the registration page initially, it was pretty difficult to find. And from their login page, they don't have a register button. So you actually have to go search for that. So I'll just provide that for you guys so you don't have to worry about it. Go ahead, install those. Once those three things are installed, we'll be able to get started. So go ahead, pause the video, install those, and then unpause it once you're done. All right, so we've got everything installed. And now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open voice meter. doesn't matter which one you have. It can be voice meter, regular, banana, or potato. In my case, I'm just using potato. And then you're going to go to menu, system options. And in system options, you're going to go down to the patch insert panel. You are going to turn on in one left and in one right. And that's it. That's all we need to do in voice meter. So when they light up with this blue inside, that means they're on. If they're like these ones over here, that means they're off. So you're just going to want to make sure that these two are on. After you do that, you can close out of this panel and we can come back over to our mini modular stuff. All right, so I'm back to sounding like crap right now, and that's because I have to show you how to actually configure this. When you first open up Minihost Modular, you're gonna see a box in the middle and there'll be an OK button there. Just go ahead and click that. It'll show you a screen like this. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go into Preferences, and we are going to change the audio device type to ASIO, your device to voice meter, in, in my case, potato insert virtual ASIO, but it could be voice meter insert virtual ASIO or voice meter banana insert virtual ASIO. So choose the one according to which version of voice meter you're using. Um, I set mine to 4800 hertz because that is what my mic is configured to. And if you look over here, that's actually what all my audio in voice meter is configured to. After you've set the audio MIDI, you're going to come over here to the plugins panel and you're just going to click scan and verify. When you click scan and verify, that's just going to go through and find all those REA plugs that you installed earlier. So all those plugins you installed earlier and make them available for you to use within mini host modular. Once the scan finishes, you're done. You can go ahead and close out preferences. Once you're back at the main screen of mini host modular, the difference between my screen and yours is that you're not going to have this yellow line going across. This yellow line is just showing you what applications you are routing your audio through before it gets to voice meter. And in this case, I just have a straight line so you can actually hear me when I'm recording this video, but it sounds like shit right now because I'm not actually filtering out the background noise. As you can see, we're not running it through anything. That's why mine will look a little bit different than yours. What you wanna do here, you wanna right click anywhere on this screen, go to add plugin, go to REA fur or reefer standalone, select that. It's going to bring up this little screen. What we're going to do is change the mode to subtract since our goal is to subtract any background noise from our microphone. So I'm going to scoot this over to the side. And what's going to happen here is for me, I'm going to right click this and I'm going to click remove connection. Again, you're not going to have to do this because it won't be set up. What I did was I just routed my audio through. So it's just a little drag and drop and you route your audio into reefer standalone and then i routed my audio out which means that i'm routing it back out to voice meter what's going to happen is i'm going to switch it to subtract 
Once I switch to subtract, there's a little checkbox. Maybe you noticed it earlier. There's a little checkbox that pops up right here. You're going to click that and just be silent for about 10 seconds, 10, 15 seconds. What this is going to do is this is going to build the subtract sound profile. The reason you want to be silent is because you want the program to pick up everything that's going to be background noise and you don't want it to pick up your voice. So you just sit there, you be quiet for about 10, 15 seconds, let it build a good sound profile. Once it's done, that's it. You're good. You uncheck that box and then it's going to be subtracting the background noise out of your audio so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now it's gonna take a second but you'll see what I mean all right so now I have allowed it to build that automatic no noise profile and you could see how it was picking up these red lines on the screen right here as I was going through so this is all the background noise that was coming through while this was checked on what it's doing is it's filtering out all that sound as I talk so instead of allowing that through it's actually taking that out so now what you're hearing is a crisp clean smooth microphone that sounds more like I'm in a studio or something similar so all you do click X and you minimize the mini host modular application kind of a pain there's no automatic startup for it so if you're about to stream or you're going to record you are going to have to open this back up on that note i'm going to mention that you should go save graph as otherwise you're going to lose it and you're gonna have to rebuild that sound profile every single time you open up mini host modular you can go in save the graph as whatever you want i already have a profile here so i'll just save over that so i click save and if i want to replace it i just click yes so now it's replaced the next time I come in I can just go file open graph and go down here find my sound profile and load it and that's it guys so I try to keep this video fast um, and to the point I don't want to waste too much of your time if you like the video or if you try it out and it helps you then go ahead and hit that subscribe button every subscribe helps me I'm trying to build a place here where we just have fun and also give some better advice than a lot of the other channels are giving I like this method a lot better than say if you used Adobe Audition or something like that because this has less latency than Adobe Audition would have and it's also less resource intensive on your system. This is definitely a way better way to go about it in my opinion. If you have a better way than this to get rid of that background noise then let me know. This was just the most lightweight least latency way that I could figure out how to do it and that's it. So hit the subscribe button. If this helped you make sure that you hit the thumbs up. Yeah have an awesome day. Thanks guys. Have you ever felt are you listening? Damn.